everyone. Greetings from Austria. My name is Miroslav Polzer. I'm with the International Association for the Advancement of Innovative Approaches to Global Challenges and also Strategic Director of the Climate Change Coalition. And I welcome you to this Innovate for Climate workshop, Sustainable Debt Innovations, an end-to-end -end life cycle of a digital SDG-linked bond. The workshop is being organized by Evercity, uh, Impact uh, Management Platform, Technological Solutions, and uh, Digital Bond Experts, and in co cooperation with the Climate Change Coalition and also with the Open Earth Foundation. And uh, the unique uh, element today is that we are not only going to talk in general about how uh, uh, blockchain can help uh, enhance uh, climate action, but really having the opportunity to see a live demo uh, of a platform which is already functioning and uh, really seeing how uh, action and impact look uh, in reality. And... Uh, uh, the, we have three speakers. Uh, the first one will be Catherine Foster, Community Director at Open Earth Foundation and a Social Alpha Foundation Fellow. And uh, the second one will be the uh, Alexei Shadrin, the CEO of Evercity and also the uh, team leader of, uh, of the finance uh, working group of the Climate Change Coalition. And... Uh, this uh, Catherine is also a member of the Climate Change Coalition and therefore a brief information also about what the Climate Change Coalition is, which is somehow the common denominator of the active speakers today here. So the Climate Change Coalition is a multi-stakeholder uh, platform and network to bring together experts, uh, governance uh, people, uh, technology developers, users, and uh, to uh, look at how to uh, harness the potentials of uh, blockchain technology and digital innovation in general, like uh, artificial intelligence and IoT for enhanced uh, climate finance and uh, measurement reporting and verification. And uh, we have uh, around 250 members uh, and you can uh, see uh, more details on our homepage uh, climate chain uh, coalition.io. And with this, I uh, give the floor now to our first speaker, Catherine Foster, who will uh, speak about uh, the benefits that blockchain can bring to green and sustainability linked bonds. Catherine, please take the floor. Thank you, Miro. Lovely to be here. Um, I also wanted to uh, give a shout out to the Green Digital Finance Alliance because I'm going to be referencing um, uh, key work uh, done by Sophie, um, uh, Sophie uh, from uh, Green Digital Finance Alliance and Hive Online, Sophie Blackstab and uh, Zoe Knight from HSBC as uh, in combination. And that actually sets the scope um, the, the blockchain uh, green, digital green bonds report set the scope for the context and opportunity of uh, digital green bonds. So what we're doing here is setting the context, the opportunity and mapping the system and also giving a hint to how this could fit into climate accounting. So the uh, context and opportunity is aligned with the inefficiencies in the current green bond issuance, which is slow, cumbersome and an expensive process. And looking at the additional 2.5, now estimated at 3 trillion in investments needed for SDGs and the need for um, you know, more proportionate investment in developing countries, uh, we really do need to optimize uh, the process and digitized green bonds can actually really help. So in the study uh, by the Green Digital Finance Alliance and um, sourcing others, they looked at 10 times cost efficiency gains across uh, numerous elements um, across the end-to-end -end cycle. And I think we can really see that there's a time and uh, funding cost efficiency gain that we can actually leverage. And um, what we're seeing in the landscape as well is that to date, of course, there's no end-to-end -end digital issuance of a digital green bond. We have the opportunity to align with the core components of the green bond principles. Um, and I break those down into further elements. 
And what we're seeing is, you know, structuring issuance and distribution and payment and settlement of the initial issuance. And that's where we're seeing um, already digitalized um, or digital solutions in place. And uh, that includes the World Bank, uh, the Visa Green Bond, the, the Singapore Exchange, the EIB bond. And then the second part of this is the, evaluate, the evaluation and selection of projects, the management of the, pro of the proceeds, sort of the tracking the funds, uh, and moreover, the evaluation, monitoring, reporting of the impact itself. And uh, we're do see, doing seeing um, innovations in the landscape that can actually be integrated. But what is really necessary is that end-to-end -end type solution. And um, I think the final piece of the puzzle is the eventual secondary trading, the transfer of ownership, as well as myriad of other barriers and gaps that need to be addressed. So we're working on various working groups to actually address those as well. And these have to happen in parallel. But the idea is that digitalized uh, green bonds can allow three things to happen. You can have an aggregation of smaller assets into a portfolio for larger issuances. Uh, so that could include um, solar plants or other uh, monitored and evaluated certified projects. And you can actually then also have the fractionalization of large assets to individual investors, which really goes to the current need uh, for more, more accessibility uh, for investors, for everyday investors and the new generation who want to participate. And then of course, we have the eventual capacity for direct individual investment into um, community projects. And the idea is integrating IoT and AI for uh, green asset performance. Um, it allows access um, accessibility, democratized processes, lower cost and reduced frictions, and of course the investment by ordinary people. So overall, those are the, the benefits and the opportunity. And an end-to-end -end digital green bond pilot would integrate all steps into the issuance via DLT and those integrated technologies. For um, open earth, it includes on solar energy projects and the potential market um, is, is quite ripe for this. So, so the, the business model, leadership and integration, um, the opening up of difficult markets and the immediate benefits to collaborative efforts by bank as well as to communities um, sort of proposing these, uh, these uh, projects. And of course, then we have the application across other green assets and general bond issuances that is becoming viable. So the identified innov innovation opportunity is really clear to establish this open source platform um, and to perform carbon risk and preparedness assessment for central banks and related fin financial stakeholders um, as well as for those sort of aggregated um, uh, cases as well. And uh, we have actually outlined what the system could look like uh, if central banks are involved, for example, in private investors and how this actually links from the bond automation level to the project um, automation level. And what this also means is that you could actually link this going forward into uh, country climate inventory, um, which would really be a significant opportunity uh, for another project uh, that we're working on, which is the nested carbon accounting. So it's not just end-to-end -end issuance of the bonds, but how this fits into the global um, system for Paris. I think I'll stop there because um, I think we want to look at uh, whatever city is actually doing and the, the functioning pilot. Thank you very much, Catherine, uh, for this introduction and for showing the general benefits uh, of uh, digital innovation for uh, financing uh, climate action and sustainability action and uh, for uh, mapping the system. Uh, before I give the floor to Alexei, I would now like uh, give uh, the audience an opportunity to uh, give us an indication of which topics uh, they are most interested in. And I would ask uh, Joe from the World Bank Technical Support Team to uh, show this poll. Uh, what industry problems would you like to solve by using digital technologies? What are 
megabatic accuracy and transparency, increase transparency of financial flows, increase operational efficiency by automation, enhance security, improve risk assessment and management, improve decision making with data or other topics. So please uh, give us an indication of what your interests are. And so uh, then Alexei can perhaps already uh, target his messaging also to your specific interests. Okay, we have uh, high interest in improved decision making with data and also increased impact measurement accuracy and transparency and increased transparency of financial flows, but also interested in improving risk assessment and management. And with this, I will uh, end the polling. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Does any, everybody see the results? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, then it's fine. Uh, and so let's uh, stop uh, this and uh, introduce now Alexei Chadrin, the mastermind behind the sustainability linked bond solution uh, of uh, EverCity and the leading partner of the Climate Change Coalition. Please. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. Uh, four years ago, uh, we met with Catherine in Barcelona at the first Innovate for Climate, and that was a remarkable event related to the presentation of the world's first uh, carbon credit issuance on blockchain made by uh, the team uh, where I was a member at that time. And so uh, we're happy to be here again four years later uh, and again present an innovation which is first of its kind and which opens uh, new opportunities for sustainable finance markets. So with this, I'm going to show uh, my short presentation and then we will proceed to the demo. In my presentation, I'm going to tell you uh, how we address this problem and how uh, we designed the solution that is going to be shown to you five minutes after. And this might be also useful for your own research and development um, in, in your solution in your country. So uh, I'm going to talk about the Smart Sustainable Bond Protocol. It's the underlying solution uh, beneath the RCT platform. This is an open source blockchain solution that allows people to issue green and sustainability bonds. And I, I'm going to tell you how we address this problem, so how it all started. So uh, we had three stages in our development process. And the first one was the research and analysis of the SGLIN bonds market. We looked at uh, many issuances on the market and tried to analyze them, whether they have any similar patterns and uh, how is this actually made in terms of business and, and financial detail. And we figured out that sustainability linked bonds uh, are uh, gaining traction, gaining popularity literally uh, a sustainability bond uh, where the interest rate, the coupon rate is connected to some SDG KPIs. And the most frequent impact indicator is clearly CO2 emissions. Uh, it's it's uh, beneficial for the issuers and also might be beneficial for investors. Uh, it's, it's a new instrument and we see rapid emergence of this instrument. We see new types of instruments like uh, the SDG link bonds, they usually they are usually issued on a corporate level uh, to finance the green transition and sustainability strategy of, of a company. But uh, this year we've seen new instruments like uh, use of proceeds sustainability link bonds, and uh, such a bond was issued by an Austrian utility company Vergun, and it's, it's a new word in uh, in in sustainable debt financing because. It's a project level, it's a project finance instrument, but you actually connect the financial parameters of, of this bond for a particular project with the impact that this project will really make. And this was uh, encouraged us, this concept, to design our protocol that allows issuance of such instruments. So the first, second stage, uh, sorry, the result of the first stage was a detailed financial model which allows to you know, model any type of a sustainability or sustainability link bond. And on the second stage, we, we embedded this logic, we translated this logic into the logic of smart contracts using a very advanced blockchain solution. And 
this open source protocol is available for anyone. It's available at GitHub. You will see the link. You can go surf and uh, build your own solutions based on that. And uh, on this stage, we literally translated the financial and business logic into the logic of code and have developed this open source uh, protocol. We've uh, partnered with uh, Parity Substrate and Polkadot. These are blockchain 2.0 solutions that enable um, interoperability, which is very important for climate finance. And also they provide for low energy consumption consensus mechanism. This means that this technology doesn't have any carbon footprint problem like Bitcoin, and it has very low carbon footprint to verify transactions. So we're not <coughs> solving another problem by a problem by creating another one. And also we'll use our experience in developing blockchain solutions for carbon credits. Uh, some of this R&D experience was all also used in our um, development. So here is a QR code that you can uh, scan with your mobile or just make a photo of this page and you will see our solution in GitHub. It's available for your attention and you can use it. So the, the third stage was testing our protocol at, at the real, um, at the real uh, power plant. And it, it, it's, it's an existing power plant which gave us all their data on power generation, financial data, and any other types of data that we use to model the bonds, issue the bonds using our software that we have developed. So, so we'll take Alexei, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. please be uh, aware that we only have seven minutes left. So, Sure. Uh, thank you for your reminder. So we've tested the solution on a real example, and it shows some great and interesting examples. Uh, here you can see the, the structure of the pilot that we did. And uh, we described this experience in a publication called Digital SDG Finance Bulletin. It's the second issue that I'm happy to present today. It's available already at the Climate Change Coalition website. You can scan the QR code, go check uh, the details of the pilot, interviews of high-level speakers, and many other things that will help you to navigate through the role of digital innovations for sustainable finance. And regarding our future plans, so we are uh, doing customer development right now. We are testing our solution with several banks, and we're getting ready to the product release and presentation at the United Nations Climate Conference in Glasgow. So um, yeah, keep uh, we'll keep you posted and let's meet in Glasgow and uh, look at the at the solution and the results of the real pilot with with real banks that we're now doing. So with this, uh, I want to uh, end with on, with the presentation and we can go directly to the demo. Evercity is a digital platform for impact measurement and investment. It automates end-to-end -end impact investment process, uniting investors, projects, and service providers. Key principles of Evercity platform are modular architecture, scalability and adaptivity, integration with global impact standards, web free protocols, and external solutions via API. The main page shows all the projects and assets registered on the platform, which can be filtered by SDGs, EU taxonomy categories, impact standards, and more. The interface supports both current view and table view. During the demo, you will see a full life cycle of a use of proceeds sustainability linked bond. In such a bond, interest rate depends on achievement of SDG KPIs by a particular project. Bond is managed through an automated workflow shared among bond issue stakeholders. This saves time, reduces issue costs and manual errors. Key actions of bond issue participants are recorded on a public immutable blockchain and can be easily traced throughout the bond lifecycle. Bond is tokenized by the Smart Sustainable Bond Protocol, built on Parity Substrate Blockchain. We use Parity and Polkadot because of interoperability and low carbon footprint. The bond is designed as a set of blockchain transaction records between key stakeholders that are executed through an algorithm with preset conditions. The key innovation of a smart sustainable bond protocol is that it allows to issue sustainability linked bonds where the interest rate is recalculated periodically upon receipt of the verified input data. In case the issuer fails to meet his commitments, the interest rate increases and vice versa. 
Now you will see the full life cycle of a sustainability link bond powered by the MRCD platform. It is divided in five main parts, bond structuring, operations with custodian, booking and issuance, monitoring, payments and redemption. We will start with creating a project. It is created through the issuer's interface. At first, he needs to fill in five tabs with the project info, general, legal, finance, impacts and issuance. These tabs divide the workflow into consecutive steps. They are shared with all key stakeholders, which simplifies the communication and document sharing. The issuance tab contains all the parameters of the future bond, which are visualized on the graph and will be recorded in blockchain. The issuance tab contains four parts. Essential bond details, such as issuance date, number of bond periods, length of a period, and overall volume. The period could be 365 days or a custom number of dates. Basic interest rate details and interest payment period. Floating rate details, where impact indicator for reporting, the floating rate corridors, penalty and grace periods are selected. Finally, we introduce impact baselines, estimated impact data for each bond period. The graph visualizes all the key parameters of the bond and helps to perform the forecasting. After the tabs are filled, they are sent to verification by the auditor and the ranger. Once approved, the tabs become green. If not approved, the tab is marked red and is sent back to the issuer with a comment. After the approval of all tabs, the issuer creates the bond in the blockchain. The bond now appears at the main page in pre-launch state. This is a trigger action for the arranger to open the booking process. The bond state is changed to booking. Money is not stored on the platform due to cybersecurity reasons. Investors and issuers exchange fiat money to EverUSD with the help of a custodian. EverUSD is an internal stablecoin used on the platform for accounting purposes and security reasons and not traded externally. On the next step, the CBDC integration will be implemented. Investor buys the bond by sending EverUSD to the issuer. The funds are frozen on the investor's account. When the minimum amount of bond sale is reached, the arranger changes the bond state to issued and the funds are transferred from the investor to the issuer. When the reporting period starts, issuer gets a notification to send the impact. After being uploaded, the impact data needs verification by the auditor. Soon we will add the IoT data upload, which we have already tested. Once verified by the auditor, the impact data is used to recalculate the interest rate. In case the data is not submitted on time, the issuer receives a penalty in the form of an interest rate step up. The issuer also regularly pays the interest to the investor. After receiving notification, he calculates the interest and deposits funds on the bond balance. Then the investor can withdraw the interest. If the issuer deposits more money than needed, he can also withdraw the remaining funds. Once the bond reaches maturity, issuer redeems it by paying out all the remaining debt. If the debt is not paid out and the investor tries to withdraw the money, the bond becomes bankrupt. Blockchain makes perfect sense for sustainability-linked bonds, providing a golden source of truth by automatic and transparent interest rate calculation. Connection of the interest rate to real economy impact data enables creation of innovative sustainable debt instruments. Easier and cheaper to issue, they financially stimulate issuers to deliver on SDG commitments while also providing hedging opportunities. Thank you very much, Anita and Alexei, for the presentation. I think it's really wonderful to see a concrete solution and uh, how it is implemented on the Polkadot uh, blockchain ecosystem. So uh, as we have a few minutes left, uh, please uh, indicate if you would like to uh, post a question or, and also check the chat uh, messages, the links that you see there. But uh, now, if you would like to post a question, please go to the participants icon and then uh, click the raise hand uh, function. Yeah, so would anybody like to post a question or a comment on what has been presented? I cannot see any. Yeah. 
While we wait, maybe, Alexia, we can uh, point to some of the discussions we've been having recently. Um, uh, what's interesting in this space is that we are bridging together different communities who usually have their own lexicon and taxonomy and also deep dive knowledge. So by speaking to people from, uh, you know, stock exchanges or uh, institutions uh, working with central banks, it's been very enlightening. Uh, so maybe we can share a few of, of those insights. Yeah, sure, Catherine. Thanks, uh, and thanks for your insight that you kindly shared, by the way, with our respective audience. Um, I, I think I have a message to our audience. So um, the solution that we we're showing you today is, is there, it's ready, but we call it a, a minimum viable product, and we're doing some customer development with the banks to see, uh, you know, what we need to, to improve to better fit the real uh, market uh, needs. Uh, so if, if you know uh, any insights here, you're welcome to, to tell us. But also, if you are running a, a climate project in your country uh, and you were thinking of, uh, you know, issuing green or sustainability or sustainability linked bonds, then we would be very happy to connect with you and explore these opportunities because we have some interest at banks. Uh, we want to pilot the solution. And it's always a matter not only on the bank side, but also on the uh, on, on the project side. So if you have a great project, we would love to explore uh, how we can help you uh, test our innovative solution and then present everything at the United Nations Conference in Glasgow, which will be of great importance for, for all of us. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good opportunity that we'll have to workshop this. And I think that's re a really important element is, you know, we're, we're beyond that, that positioning of... Uh, blockchain as visionary and future facing to we're actually implementing right now and we have sort of a fractionalized solution space and by bringing stakeholders together and asking the hard questions or bringing forward other opportunities we really can advance in the state and it's not to displace the actors are there they're you know the the bankers the investment managers they're all we're all struggling with the efficiency in this so it really is um, an opportunity and a value proposition to to all the stakeholders and actors across the, the value chain. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Catherine. I think yeah. this was a very important outcome of uh, our um, events last year, oh, sorry, not the last year, four years ago, where we uh, came uh, as disruptors of the industry. And now yeah. life has taught us not to be disruptors, but to be uh, helpers, assistants, and cooperators. And that's what we're doing. So we're literally okay. helping everyone to reduce costs and increase efficiency and transparency. Wonderful. This is a great uh, concluding statement. Uh, and uh, I'm uh, grateful for your presentation of this working solution of a sustainability linked bond based on blockchain technology. And uh, you have uh, had, uh, you have seen our contact details, evercity.io, climatechangecoalition.io. You are welcome to uh, get in contact with us. And with this, I thank everyone for participation and uh, wishing you an enjoyable further participation in Innovate for Climate conference. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.